Hello everyone, welcome to another Rick's Picks. Today I'm going to be doing my review of the G.I. Joe classified figure, Grunt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at him in packaging, then I'm going to take a look at the figure and his accessories, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on Also this week I'm going to be doing a lot of G.I. Joe classified reviews, so go ahead and check those videos out as well. And if you like any of these videos, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, share, and subscribe. They're small clicks for you, but it really helps this channel grow. So without any further ado, let's get to the review all right so here he is in packaging you get this nice picture of the figure with a background setup you get this little bit of art all his accessories the gi joe classified logo a star showing that he's a joe hasbro his name up top you got your choking hazards your age restrictions and also you have the gi joe classified logo Spin them around this way. You get that front art again. You get the uh, G.I. Joe classified and his number. Spin them around this way. You get some of his extra details. The figure, all his accessories. G.I. Joe logo, his stats, and some legal. Spin it this way. You got his number, the QR code, and his stats again. All right. And then underneath, you got the rest of your legal. So, with all that being said, let's open him up and see what he's about. All right, so here he is out of packaging. He's a really cool looking figure. I like the detail on him, so let's give him the rotation. All right. I like that they gave him this little flat jacket, you know, or bulletproof vest or whatever. Gives him a little bit more detail. If I remember right, the original Grunt didn't have this. He just had, you know... His standard uh, green outfit and whatever. So I like the extra detail and stuff. Uh, for any of you who don't know, Grunt was one of the original 12. So it's good to see another one of the 12. Because I know they have at least four of them. Because there's Scarlet, Snake Eyes, Grunt, and Rock and Roll. And uh, Breaker. So right now you have at least five of the original. I know Clutch is coming out with the Vamp. So I'm really excited about that. So... Let's start taking a look at some of his points of articulation and stuff. Now, first off, he has this little computer on his chest. All right. It does pop off, so I guess you could put it in his hands. Not exactly sure what this is meant to be, whether it's supposed to be his stats or whatever. But it sits right here. It goes on and off. I think he kind of actually looks better without it myself. But that's just my opinion. Uh, his head does swivel. It is on a ball joint. Got a shoulder joint, a swivel, an elbow joint, and a wrist joint. All right. He's arms up. Now, he does have a joint in here. Doesn't work very well because of the flight jacket or bulletproof vest, whatever you want to call it. He also has a torsal swivel, but his gear kind of gets in the way, so you can't really do that too much. All right. You got a thigh joint, and you got a swivel at the top there. All right, you got a knee joint, swivel at the top of your boot, and you also got an ankle joint. Okay, a little stiff. Now, my issue too is his legs right up in here are a little bit off. Um, not as bad as Ripper's. Um, I did a review on Ripper earlier. Uh, go ahead and check that one out. But his like seem really off. These ones at least kind of work with him. So, you know, that, that, that's pretty cool. So let's look at some of his accessories. So he comes with a backpack. All right. He comes with two helmets. So he comes with his military issue. All right. He comes with this helmet. Now, this helmet here, for any of you who don't know, is very similar to the helmet that they had. Um, back in the day, they had a send-away where you could be your own Joe. And the Joe came in a pretty standard costume that covered his head and everything. So, anybody could be that character. So, this pretty much looks like the helmet from that. 
Actually, it really looks like it's a helmet from Halo, like, you know, one of the Spartans would have. But overall, it's still a cool-looking helmet. All right, he has this here, which kind of looks like an M1 rifle. All right. He has an M16. All right, the barrel got bent in the box. All right, this also comes with a clip. That just pops right in there. Alright. He comes with a pistol. And a knife. Alright, so now that we looked at everything, let's see how well they all hook up onto them. So let's do the backpack first. So let's spin them around. There's a hole right here. Pack just goes right in there. No issues with that. Alright. Let's look at some of his helmets. So let's do the future helmet first. Uh, okay. Oh, all right. That's a different head. Hold up. All right. So we'll put his helmet on him. All right. There you go. So that's actually a different head. So let's pop this one off. <clears throat> all right. Let's try pop that on. All right, so now he has that helmet on. Looks a little bit more futuristic, okay? Like I said, he kind of has that Halo Spartan look to it. Let's put his normal head back on. I like this better. All right. There we go. Okay, so... Over there let's try his pistol and knife so here's the pistol all right fits in his hand now let's do the knife all right there we go should put him back on the stand so as you see both the pistol and knife fit really nice in his hands no issues Okay, let's take the knife, goes up here, it's meant to sit like this, all right, fits in there nicely, the pistol comes in here, sits in there like that, very nice, no issue, now, I, I noticed something about him, the same thing that I noticed with Tunnel Rat, is if you look at the fingers, let's see how close we can get him, they're sloppily painted, so, like, the whole inside of the hand is just brown. And on the tips of his fingers, you can see brown. So, they should have did a better paint job on those fingers. And, like I said, it was the same issue I had with Tunnel Rat. They did the same thing with him. He had gloves on. And they just gave him this really quick once-over finger paint. Which kind of stinks. But especially because they do pay a lot of attention to all the other details. So I don't know why they would go chintzy with that. But they did. So now let's look at the two rifles. All right. I think it's M1 here. All right. Get that finger in there. All right. So that sits in there nicely. Without issues. All right, now to 16. All right. All right, get that in there like that. All right, so as you see, both rifles fit nicely in his hands. There isn't no issues with that. I'm still kind of annoyed that this barrel's bent. And now I got to now play with it to try to get it straight. So both of his rifles definitely fit in both hands now. On his backpack, he does have a knock for both of them. So we take these off of him, put them back on his stand. Spin him around this way. So, you know, you put them on how you want. The 16 can go here. The rifle can go here. All right. So both sit very well on his back. No issues with them. See, I like, I kind of like that. I think that's really neat because a lot of the original classified figures 
you know, you could put their weapons all over them and what have you. So, overall, I do like this figure. You know, I think they could have did a better paint job on his fingers. I really feel like this little thing is unnecessary. I don't know why they gave it to him. I don't even really know what it is. I think he looks better without it, personally. And then they gave him the space helmet, I guess, just to give him more accessories. So, with that being said, I think he would look really good with the rest of your Joe collection, as is. So... You know, just remember, if you did like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, share, and subscribe. They're small clicks for you, but really help this channel grow. So, until the next one, late.